Salts contain an anion from an acid and a cation from a base. Acids and bases mix to produce salts, but not always a neutral solution. Some salts actually cause water to break up into further ions. And in general, salts that produce acidic solutions contain positive ions that release protons into water. And salts that produce basic solutions contain negative ions that attract the protons from water. In salt hydrolysis, the cations or anions of dissociated salt remove hydrogen ions from or donate hydrogen ions to water. Now, not all salts will do this, only some of them will. Whenever we have a strong acid with a strong base, we get a neutral solution, with salts that don't do salt hydrolysis. When we mix a strong acid and a weak base, we end up with an acidic solution. And when we mix a weak acid and a strong base, we'll produce a basic solution. Here's a graph of a titration of a strong acid and a strong base, sodium hydroxide. You can see that the equivalence point is right in the middle of the vertical section of the graph, at a pH of 7. But if we look at a graph of a titration of a weak acid and a strong base, the equivalence point is slightly more basic, a pH of about 9. The salt produced causes more hydroxide ions to be produced, resulting in a more basic equivalence point. A buffer is a solution of weak acid and one of its salts, or a solution of weak base and one of its salts. The pH of buffer remains relatively constant when small amounts of acid or base are added. The buffer capacity is the amount of acid or base that can be added to a buffer solution before a significant change in pH occurs. It's easier to see what this means when we graph it. This graph shows what happens when more hydrochloric acid is added to pure water over time the pH is steadily decreasing. But when we have a buffer solution and we add hydrochloric acid, the pH remains steady for a long time and then begins to change eventually, but nowhere near as drastically as when it was just with water. Buffers keep pH steady, and this is a very important thing for many living systems, like the pH of your blood. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.